In this video, I am going to be discussing with you the best solo businesses in GTA Online. These are not going to range in any particular order. So, you will want to stick around until the end of this video to find out the best solo businesses in GTA Online. But before we can move ahead with this video, I do post content all the time. So if you could consider subscribing to the channel, it would be much appreciated, as I am confident that you are going to fall in love with this channel. Now onto the video. In GTA Online, the arcade is one of the most useful properties in which you can own. And this is for two reasons. The first reason is that you can manage all of your businesses from this location through the master control terminal, and which is one of my favorite purchases I have made. This makes managing all of my stock a lot easier and saves me traveling across the map just to purchase my supplies. The CEO office is a purchase and which is essential for you to buy in GTA Online. This gives you access to two major businesses in GTA Online, being the special and vehicle cargo businesses. If you own a special cargo warehouse, you can export excess crates to the docks from your office building for $50,000 every 48 minutes. An overall good investment which is needed in GTA Online. The agency is one of the best businesses in GTA Online. And that is because of the fact that there is three main money methods with this property. The security contracts, payphone hits, as well as the Dr. Dre contract. Security contracts are smaller missions which take a few minutes to complete and can be done in sessions. These missions will net you anywhere from $30,000 through to $80,000 depending on the difficulty of the mission with the best security contracts that you can complete being the recover valuables and vehicle recovery missions. Payphone hits are unlocked from completing five security contracts and can be requested from calling Franklin on your phone. Provided you complete the assassination bonus, you will receive $45,000 for work completed in less than five minutes. Once completing a mission, you will get a 10 minute cooldown before being able to do the mission again. And with the Dr. Dre contract, you can make $1 million for around an hour's worth of work. This is one of those money methods which is better to slowly set up over time, or rather it being completed when you're on the likes of a Diamond Casino heist, or KO Preco heist cooldown. There will be a 48 minute cooldown on this contract upon completion. The nightclub in GTA Online is by far the best passive business in the game. It requires a bunch of other businesses to set up properly, and a massive investment. But once this business is set up, it will make you a lot of money. You also have the passive safe income with this business, which can be gained through high popularity in your nightclub. And this can easily be maintained through rebooking DJs. When your popularity drops, making this a completely passive income source. The auto shop has two money methods in GTA Online in which you can take advantage of, with them being the customer vehicle deliveries, as well as the auto shop robbery contracts. The vehicle deliveries are similar to vehicle cargo, with them requiring you to customize a vehicle for a small fee and then selling it on to a customer to make a profit. And then the main money method with the auto shop is the robbery contracts. These are like mini heist, requiring you to complete to set up missions, and then a finale. Only taking you around 20 minutes to fully complete. In regard to payout, you can make anywhere between $100 and $30,000 through $200 and $70,000 for these missions, making them a solid money method. Special cargo is a passive active business, meaning that you can either do this business passively or actively go out and source crates for your business. The way you do this passively is through requesting your warehouse staff to go out and source your crates, whereas with the active method, you need to go out and source your crates. If you do not have the money for large warehouses, I recommend starting out with either to small or to medium warehouses. However, if you have the money for five large warehouses, I recommend getting these. It will be quite costly initially, but you will make your money back easily, as well as a decent profit after your first sale making this investment worth it. Vehicle cargo is a business where you are required to source cars and deliver them to your warehouse, and then sell them on for a profit. This is one of the older businesses in the game on this list, but it is still a really fun and profitable business. The La Mesa warehouse is the best location for your warehouse, as it is right by a highway, allowing you to easily leave the city. Additionally, I recommend that you keep 10 standard range vehicles and 10 mid-range vehicles in your warehouse, and do not sell them. This is because if you have 10 of each of these variations of vehicles in your warehouse, you will only be sourcing top range vehicles, which is the most profitable vehicle upon selling your stock. The bail enforcement office has seen mixed opinions from players, but this is one of the best money methods in the game for beginners or new players to invest into. This property gives you access to the bounty hunting missions, which will net you $35,000 through to $40,000 per bounty. If you complete a most wanted bounty, 
which can be completed once per real life day. You can net yourself over $100,000, and the regular bounties will switch every 48 minutes or every in-game day, making it a tad bit easier for newer players to get the hang of because of the business's simplicity. The Acid Lab is an amazing business in GTA Online, simply due to the fact that you can do this business completely solo, not needing other players to help you sell your stock, due to you only receiving one sell vehicle per sale. This was introduced in the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC and can net you a decent chunk of money. If you sell your stock in a private lobby, you will receive around $330,000 per sale. Whereas if you want to make more money with this business, you can sell your stock in a populated lobby and make $500,000. On double money weeks, you can make over $1 million per sale, making this a must-own business. As I had mentioned earlier on in the video, I do post a lot of GTA Online content ranging from the likes of GTA Online guides, news, speedruns, and GTA 6 content. Additionally, I also stream around three different times a week on this very channel, where I do heist, businesses, and help out subscribers. So, if you want to jump into a really friendly and kind community, consider subscribing to this channel. And now, I'll see you in the next one.